Yo guys, what's going on? I'm George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back. Um, this week's project is this right here. It's a little wooden cylinder and inside there's a whole set of punches. I found this at our local flea market. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Will it focus in? Yeah, it did. They're rusted up a little bit. I can't read if there's a maker on there or not. But I'd like to get the cylinder case and the uh, punches looking good again. So I say we jump right into it. Let's go, guys. All right, so first thing I want to do, get the lid off this, get all these punches out. Sorry about that. Didn't have the viewfinder turned around. So this we're going to set off by, the, by itself, and uh, we'll come back to that in a little bit. I say we start with the biggest one here, figure out what we can do. Alright, so there is some writing on there. You probably are not going to be able to see it, but it's a 5 16 and it's Starrett. So I've got me a Starrett set. That is awesome. So I say we continue to clean up the rest of these. Because here's what the clean one looks like and here's what the others look like. So, yep, a little funky and dirty. So let's get at it, right? cleaned up. Let's get you back over here. Sorry about that, fellas. Alright. Here they are. They are all cleaned up. Uh, I do want to coat these in some 3-in-1 oil. And I'll tell you why, because they feel like they're high carbon steel. And if I don't do something with these, then they are going to rust up on me, and I don't want that. So, let's find us a semi-clean rig. Let's get some Earl on these. Again, if any of you guys know where to find that one gallon of three-in-one oil, shoot me a link. Or, or put it in the messages or something for me. Because I've tried Amazon, I've tried Lowe's, I've tried everywhere and I can't find it. I used to see it everywhere. Can't find sh nothing no more. All I'm wanting to do is scratch off the polyurethane that's on there. So almost all the clear is off this. Let's get this table wiped down a little bit. Then we're gonna do a lot of hand sanding. All 
All right, let me go get some sandpaper and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna try most of the sanding. I believe this is 180. I'm gonna do most of the sanding with the 180. Then I'll come back. I'll go over it with a 320. So I need something a little more aggressive. Hang on. So this is aluminum oxide tape, like plumber's tape. Um, this is, a, I believe, 120 grit. Oh, jeez. It's not even going to move, is it? So close, look at that. So close. See, unfortunately though, I think once I throw a stain on there, the wood's gonna swell. But these little projects, I'll have them done in one day. There we go. We're completely closed now. I'm going to sand it just a little bit more, and uh, actually I think I'll go with, what is this? <clears throat> I think I'll go with the 180 around the edge here, and uh, that'll be cleaning it off. And then I can go over it with the 320, do my final sand. So. Let me show you real quick what a subscriber sent me. A whole gallon of natural 209 from Min Minwax. You guys who have been watching my channel long enough, you know this is my go-to stain. I love this stuff. It brings out the natural grain in the wood. And uh, it's not pigmented. Very, very lightly pigmented. So let me pop this whopper of a can open. I'm so excited. So first we're going to start with the top. I'm just going to lightly put my rag in. See how you can't even really see anything on the rag? But look at what it does to the wood. It just brings out that natural color that's in the wood already. This stuff is awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? God, I love this stuff. Now I did tape off where I sanded, where it slides in there. I'm sure I'm going to get a little bit of stain on there, but I just didn't want it flooded out. And...
All right, guys, we're all done here. We got the punch set complete. These are Starrett's. They came out real nice. Look at that. I don't know if it'll focus on time here for me. There we go. Look at that. Starrett punches. We got a complete set. We picked these up for a couple of bucks at our local flea market. Had to do a little bit of uh, sanding on the case to get a nice tight fit. We got that. Um, I used Natural 209, my go-to color stain. Um, I couldn't find it in my area, but a subscriber found it and sent me a gallon of it. So, Mike, thanks a lot, brother. I truly appreciate that, man. So, I guess that's it for this video. We're going to call it here. Like always, stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you next week with another video. Thanks. guys what's going on welcome back I'm George and this is you want to watch this week's uh, project is this right here what is it you might ask well I'll tell you it's just a cup start this again